hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a very highly requested skincare routine this is one of the questions i get asked the most what is my skincare routine and i also wanted to do this video because i feel like there is a lot of things that i would like to let you guys know about my skincare journey that i feel like most people would assume that it's just good all the time or I haven't been through some sort of skin journey of my own so i'm finally doing it you're welcome no i'm just kidding um it's bloody taken me long enough to, to get consistent with youtube so i'm gonna make this video a bit of like a skincare chat about my journey and i'm also going to take you through my current um this will be my nighttime routine skincare so without further ado let's get skin caring i thought i would start with just a bit of a backstory of my skincare journey my skin's been very like unproblematic and fine my whole life up until about 2020 december time i went and got a facial from my facial place that i had been visiting for like two years and i asked for just like a deeper cleanse. I think they accidentally damaged my skin barrier. They did an exfoliant that was just way too harsh on my skin. And basically, since then, I haven't had the same skin as I did before that happened. So it was quite challenging for me to go through because like it brought up all these issues that I had never had before. And then for a while after that, I stopped using all products together. I was so afraid of putting anything on my skin because my skin became so reactive to everything. And it would go so red and I had really inflamed cheeks. I'll insert some photos for you guys of what I kind of went through with my skin through that period of time where it was really sensitive and really reactive and very inflamed i struggled with like these really like heaps of like fluid bumps all over my cheeks um it would get really really bad if i was wearing a lot of makeup or if i was having different makeup artists put different products on me day after day and the redness would be so bad and then the overall texture was just really bad as well i used to get heaps of not really bad but bad for me i used to get heaps of bumps all up around here and yeah, basically it was just so unlike my skin and I had never experienced something like that. So I was really cautious of new products and new facials and I basically stayed clear of like so many products and only used a moisturizer if I absolutely needed to and then just cleansed and that was it. And even cleansing still, like I would come out of the shower and my cheeks would be completely red. Anyway, I will keep chatting to you guys but I'm going to start with my skincare routine. So, cleanser. This is my all-time fave. I've recently just been seeing a new skincare place, new skincare clinic. They have helped me so much. I basically went to her and said all of this and was like, I haven't been using any products. I'm too scared to put things on my skin. And basically what I had was like a really mild rosacea and my skin barrier was completely damaged and every product that was going into my skin was going in too fast and too hard so if you have a damaged moisture barrier then your products aren't going in the way that they should be um, which will leave you with lots of inflammation and irritation and redness so this is my favorite cleanser um, it just works so well for me it's so gentle and I honestly used to come out of the shower and my face would be so red from the hot water but also cleansing and the product just going too far into my skin too quickly this one is literally a dream it's so gentle i cleanse only nighttime with this um, i only cleanse once a day because i had someone tell me that in the morning it's not really necessary to um basically cleanse off all the oils that you've just had sit and all your skincare in the night you're basically washing that off so I've always been a one cleanse a day kind of girl. Um, I do double cleanse though, so let's get cleansing. So I'll just wet my face first. And I've also heard that like some people don't like to cleanse in the shower, but I've always cleansed in the shower. I don't, I don't know, I've just, that is what I've done my whole life. And I'm very gentle with my skin as well. And 
I like to really lather up my cleanser and make sure it's like really worked into my skin. Oh no, I hate when you get it all up in your hair. Then I'll just wipe it off. So after I cleanse, I like to go in my... I like to go in my Osmosis MD Rescue Serum. This is an epidural repair serum. So a, basically a moisture barrier repair serum. And this changed my skin. Like when I when she recommended me this, she was like, like this is going to repair your whole barrier and basically just take your skin back to the way that it was. Um, we're still not there yet, but this has helped me so much. And my redness is completely changed and so much less and I just if, even when I run out of this and for the week that I run out and I have to use my products without putting this on first it's my skin gets more reactive without having having this layer base for it to go through so I just do like one and a half pumps of that also I am not a dermatologist or a, a skincare person um, so I'm just wanting to show you guys what works for me and I just get so many questions so yeah but please don't think that everything that works for me will work for you although all my products are quite gentle and they are for sensitive skin as well again not sponsored I'm talking like it's sponsored <laughs> so after all of that is rubbed in I like to go in with my Hydrating serum. This one's from Aspect as well. Um, Aspect is just It's just such a good brand like it's so so gentle and they've just got I feel like they just stick to basics without trying to like overdo it I feel like lots of skincare places um, Try and overdo it with like the ingredients and then it's just like ends up being like a bit too much for your skin Especially people with sensitive skin. I love this serum so much. It gives you the nicest glow so I'll put that on and then I kind of just let that dry and let that sink in before I put my other products on. And then I also put the um, remnants on the back of my hands. Always do that. My hydrating serum has hyaluronic acid in it. And then my next step is the Aspect Redless Serum. And this has also transformed my skin with my redness, my, my redness especially. Um, this is a multi-purpose oil formulated with essential fatty acids and antioxidants to nurture and protect skin from sensitizing environmental effects. So, this is like a really lightweight um, serum. And it comes out like orange. And then I just take it in my fingers and put it on my skin. This leaves you with like full glazed donut vibes. Um... And I lay this on so much in the night um, before I go to bed, especially after I've had like a all day shoot where I've had heaps of makeup on. I feel like this just like really helps in like repairing and giving your skin all those things that have been stripped back with um, all the makeup and all the different products that you would have been using in the day. So that leaves you with like the nicest glow and to feel this just sinking into your skin in the nighttime is so nice. And then my last step is just this Osmosis Infuse Activating Serum. So basically this just helps your products seep into the skin more and kind of helps to activate them a little bit more as well, which, which is just what we want. So I'll just spray that. Usually that's all my skin really needs, um, but if it is extra dry, I do go in with my Aspect Super Moisturizing Complex. Um, it's just like a really like thick, nourishing moisturizer. And I always bring that one down onto my decolletage as well. Um, but that's about it for my skincare. And I obviously wouldn't be a full skincare routine without Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I put this on too before I go to sleep. And then you got your whole face looking real grisly. And then that is it. 
that is it for the skincare routine I know it's simple but I feel like the simpler the better when you've got sensitive reactive skin and I'm still getting to learn what works for me and I've probably been on this kind of routine for I would say just under maybe like four or five months now and it's made a massive difference to my skin um, just going to a skincare clinic that you can trust and that you know has your best interests at heart and also not overselling you with like heaps of products that you probably don't need. I love my little like five step skincare routine in the night. It's so easy and simple and it's so effective for my skin. So yeah, I'm so excited that I could film this finally for you guys. Um, I know I've been pretty slack with YouTube and um, I'm working on it. She's working on it. But basically, I just want to say thank you so much for your endless support and being patient with me through the beginning of my YouTube journey. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to do more videos like this with you and more talking videos. And make sure to leave any comments or questions you have down below. Again, this is just what works for me and we're on a, all on our own skincare journey. But I hope this has helped some of you guys to um, kind of show you that not everything is as it seems on Instagram. I also had a girl message me um, probably about a year ago now um, asking me all my skincare tips and what I do and what products I use because she really loved how my skin looked. And at that time is when I was going through all my reactive phase and all of these issues coming up on my skin and I didn't know what to do. And it just made me think I don't want to be putting a false like image out there of people thinking that my skin is perfect all the time and that I haven't been through anything that I've dealt with with my skin personally so yeah it made me think like I don't want to be doing this like false image of my skin when actually I was struggling with it really bad at that time and especially being a model I was shooting every day and having your skin not be at its best when you're on camera makes you feel a bit insecure and not as confident so yeah I basically I really wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about all of that and just show you that my skin hasn't always been and still isn't amazing I do miss those years before I got that bloody facial <laughs> I hope you guys love this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video